Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lena, and I am a hair cutting specialist and hair stylist. And in today's video, we are gonna be going through the entire Kevin Murphy line based on regimen. I'm not gonna go through every single product. I just wanna break it down for you so that you know which products to choose based on what kind of hair you have. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a lengthy video, so kick back and relax, and here we go. So we're on the Canadian website and I'm gonna go straight to the regimens. I'm going to be referring to washes and rinses. So the wash is the shampoo, the rinse is the conditioner. We're gonna start off with the blonde. So I don't do a lot of blondes, but the regimen that is considered the right one for blondes is this angel wash. If you have blonde hair and you wanna maintain your blonde hair and you wanna keep it nice and ashy, even if you don't wanna keep it too ashy, I find the Kevin Murphy line is very much very lightweight. It's not gonna give you that crazy like purple hair that some other products or other shampoos do. This one is a very gentle, subtle, I think it smells like lavender. It smells really nice. All of Kevin Murphy, everything smells amazing. So you would want to do your blonde angel wash and that is basically a purple shampoo and then the blonde angel treatment or rinse which is your conditioner they also recommend that you use a shimmer me blonde which is basically an it's like a serum oil with mica in it so it's everything is clean in this line by the way so um kevin murphy is largely vegan they are created with a hundred percent ocean waste plastic kevin murphy actually put out a message saying that they tried their best to create a hundred percent ocean waste plastic line but it didn't go as planned but they were actual pioneers in doing this so it's really, really an amazing brand and it's very, very friendly to the environment and it does what it's meant to do. Okay, so the Shimmer Me Blonde, so you can spray it all over your hair before you start blow drying and you can blow dry it into the hair and it makes the hair really smooth and shiny. And it's also like a leave-in treatment as well, leave-in oil treatment. So it will really make the hair just smooth and beautiful. And then you can use it to mist your hair when you're all done and finished. And that purple hue will actually help with the longevity of your blonde. Okay, so now we are gonna move on to the next one, which which is the hydrate. This is one of the most, it's the best selling, the most popular regimen for anyone who has drier hair. It works for fine hair, it works for thick hair, it works if you've had blonde hair and you just need that extra hydration boost. It smells amazing, it has kakadu plum in it, which is native to Australia and has a ton of vitamin C. It's really, really, really amazing. Every time someone uses a hydrate, they're like, I'll never go back to anything else. If you wanna maintain the integrity of your hair, honestly, the hydrate wash and rinse are amazing. This is what I always get my clients start it on if there's dryness in their hair and then we can always switch them up so the hydrate wash is this one it's amazing it's like literally literally amazing so you would use this one to shampoo and then you would use the rinse to condition the untangled is basically your leave-in detangling spray that you would spray into your hair after you come out of the shower on towel dried hair it's got UV protection in it it detangles the hair it adds conditioning into the hair and you can tell from the colors that is part of the hydration line so if your hair is dry you want to go with the hydrate wash you want to go with the hydrate rinse and then you want to spray the untangled in on towel dried hair. The Shimmer Shine is also a good option as well as a styling product. If you just want to add a little bit of shine, it's very similar to its sister or brother or cousin, the purple one that is meant for blondes. I love the Shimmer Shine for basically everyone. I don't see a huge difference if I just spray it on the hair. It's like really pretty, but I like things that are going to actually make the hair like literally change. Like I want something that is going to be like, oh wow, that's incredible. It smells amazing and it literally the selling point on this one is lilies it's the smell it smells like vanilla it's so so nice when you blow dry it into the hair and the more you use it the more it's going to treat the hair so these products aren't just like oh they just look pretty and they smell they smell nice the more you use the products the better your hair is going to be so let's move on to the repair the repair is meant for people who have compromised hair if you are blonde and your ends are fragile they're a little bit weak or if you have fine hair like me I have fine hair and my ends just tend to be really weak I try to do bangs but like look at this they are so weak and they're so thin so the repair Pear line would be perfect for me because it adds strength and protein into the hair. So you would want to start out with, and I love this line because I would recommend it for anyone with fine hair. The Repair Me Wash is, they all smell amazing too. The Repair Me Wash is really nice, it's very concentrated, it's very, it lathers really, really well, and that would be your shampoo. And then you would want to rinse out with the Repair Me Rinse. The beautiful thing is about the Repair Me Rinse is 
that you can actually leave it in the hair for up to, I believe, like two minutes or something like that. And that actually penetrates into the hair. A lot of conditioners, when you use them, you're supposed to rinse them right off. They don't really penetrate into the hair. They just kind of like slide right off the hair. And it's just meant to seal in the cuticle. With the Repair Me Rinse, because it has pea protein in it, it actually is created to go into the hair and it actually like penetrates the hair shaft and it goes inside the hair. So the more you use it, the better your hair is going to feel and is going to look. And you will see a huge difference once you start using that. For people who have very, very compromised hair, people who are bleaching their hair constantly, if you are washing your hair all the time, you want just a cream cleanser that's actually kind of similar to the Hair Story new wash that I keep talking about is the Restore. You want to use the Restore. The Restore is like, I recommend this to everyone. I think everyone should have it in their shower. Okay, my neighbor's fire alarm just went off. I don't wanna lose my momentum. So the Restore is something that you wanna keep in your shower, no matter who you are or what kind of hair you have. Whether you, I find it's like, it's made for people who have really fine compromised damaged hair, but I find that even if you have coarse hair, even if you have oily hair, if you have a bad scalp, if you have hair that is fine, that doesn't have a lot of volume, I use it on myself. And you would think that because it's a cream cleanser that is going to weigh your hair down, it does not weigh your hair down. It is absolutely incredible. It makes the hair super shiny, it smells incredible. And and you can actually leave this in the hair for up to five. I like to leave it on for five minutes if I have the time. So you can do it one to two times per week and you wanna leave it in the hair as a treatment. Then rinse it out. You don't need to use a conditioner after, but it is created to be used as part of the repair regimen of the repair program. So you would use your shampoo and conditioner once a week. Your second wash can be the restore and then you would just alternate those. So that is the whole point of this program is really the thing is with Kevin Murphy, it's like you can't go wrong. You can still use a hydrate with a repair. There's no right or wrong. It's really whatever your hair likes and needs. I love this program for people who have fine hair or damaged hair or just blondes. If you're blonde, go with that. And you can also get the Blonde Angel for a wash and rinse once a week and then switch back to the repair. So you can do the repair, you can do the blonde angel wash and rinse and then, or you can do the wash and then you can finish off with the repair. You could do that as well. There's really no right or wrong. So I talk about this one a lot. This is the leave-in repair. It's part of the regimen. You can tell from the colors. Uh, this is what I love about uh, Kevin Murphy's, like everything is color coded. So this beautiful blue is a nourishing leave-in treatment and it has so much protein and conditioning properties in it. So I'll find a lot of products that have just like, they're meant for strengthening hair tend to be too strong for the hair like the olplex number six that doesn't have any conditioning agents in it but this one is actually conditioning and it's strengthening as well so when it's conditioning that means that it brings back brilliance and condition to the hair and shine and it also protects the hair against heat so it does have a little bit of heat protection in it it has a jojoba seed oil has green pea protein has bamboo extract it has papain from the papaya so it helps to unlock and boost the potency of other ingredients that work to bind moisture and improve the hair's overall elasticity so at the end of the day the kevin murphy line is it does make the hair more pliable. It makes the hair more elastic. It makes the hair more like, it just it just moves so much more beautifully. I use it in my hair. I absolutely love it. I have very fine hair and it doesn't weigh my hair down. Okay, now let's move on to the smoothing line. And I really, really want to talk about this. Generally, this is for frizzy, coarse hair. This line is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. If you have coarse, frizzy hair, where your hair diameter is thicker than other people's, People. so you can like kind of measure your hair type to other people so mine is very very fine if I take one hair I'm like oh my god it's so tiny and it's so fragile and it's so like little right it's so thin it's they're like little feathers coarser hair tends to be wiry so if you have gray hair that's wiry the smooth again wash and rinse and the smooth again leave-in cream are just like oh my god they're out of this world so the wash is the shampoo you finish off with the rinse and then once you come out you can put in the smooth again before you blow dry or you can put it in all over your hair and let it air dry it's just oh my god it's magic it's magic you guys and it's very heavy so i believe it has cocoa butter in it i'm gonna double check here so hair that it tends to be very very coarse and wiry tends to need a lot more oils and butters that's what the hair needs it doesn't need more protein because protein makes the hair strong we don't want to make the hair strong we want to make it calm we need to calm the frizz and we need to oil it down you want to use this one this one has nourishing oils and butters i'm gonna actually double check so it has keratin, pro oh, it does have a little bit of um, protein. So it actually 
helps with repairing damage, which is amazing. Yep, it has cocoa seed butter and it has Brazil nut oil. If you were to use this on someone who has really fine hair or very thin hair, it would weigh the hair down, it would be too heavy. So it's really meant for people who have very coarse, um, drier, coarse, wiry hair. Okay, now let's go into the thickening line. This is the best line if you are looking to thicken up the hair, the hair shaft. This is the plumping line. This is the plumping wash and rinse and the body mass. The plumping wash Wash, the pumping rinse and the body mass work together as a program as a team to help thicken up every single hair shaft to make it thicker. So again, if you have really thin hair and the diameter of your hair is really, really tiny, you're gonna use the plumping wash and it's going to expand the hair. It's gonna make the hair fat. It's gonna make every single hair strand very, very fat. And the body mass is meant to be a scalp treatment that you can put onto the scalp, massage it in, and then you can blow dry it in or you can brush it out. You don't actually have to, like it's not heat activated, but it helps deliver the good ingredients to the hair. It's kind of like a natural natural Rogaine to help enhance hair growth. And I have to be very careful about the words that I use because I don't have any scientific data or proof to say that this actually will help you grow your hair. I have seen results with clients. Clients have loved it. Clients are always like buying it again and again. There is something about it that really does work. Um, I believe that hair loss is internal and it is largely genetic. And I was able to fix my hair loss issues by changing my diet and, and taking out eggs, dairy, and gluten, and then supplementing my diet with things that my doctor gave me. So I really don't want to give you like high hopes of you know growing your hair, but if you are, suffering from hair loss, this is the first step you should do. Second step, look internally and try to fix what's going on inside. But I really, really love this line for anyone who has really thin hair. It does make the hair poofy. It makes the hair a little bit frizzy because that's what it's meant to do. It's supposed to give you volume. So I used to really love blow drying my hair after I used this line. So I would wash, rinse, put the body mask, and I would give it a really nice blowout. And my hair looked amazing when it was long. It still felt really like thin though after a while. So I just cut it all off. This is such a great line for people with fine hair. So I find that people will like go back and forth between the plumping and the angel wash and rinse. The angel wash and rinse is created and the mask, the mask is amazing, is created for people who have fine hair and they just want a little bit of volume. So if you just have fine hair and you, have, you need volume, the angel is easy peasy. That's the one you want to go with. You want to wash your hair, you want to rinse it, two washes, don't ever forget that, always two washes. And then you want to do the angel mask once a week. So with masks, you want to do a mask every time you wash your hair until you start seeing a result. I like to say it's like medicine, like go high dose in the beginning. If you need to fix something, if your hair needs fixing, don't wait till the next week. Go ahead and use the mask every time you wash your hair. You're going to be putting back all of those beautiful ingredients into the hair and it's going to make the hair really nice and beautiful and pliable and voluminous and all of the good things. And then once you start seeing a difference in the hair and you're like, oh, my hair feels great, then you can wean off of it. But you will notice a difference. If your hair is really dry, and actually I'm gonna pull up the mask for the Hydrate line. The Hydrate Me mask is also incredible to use for dry hair. A lot of you guys wanna keep your hair nice and long and beautiful and luscious, and you don't wanna cut off any length. And so you would do the Hydrate Wash and Rinse, you could do the mask every time you wash your hair. You can put it all over your hair. You could put it on the scalp and then let it sit. And I think it says you can leave it up to three minutes, five to 10 minutes to fully absorb the benefits. You can leave it on for longer. You don't need to sleep in it. You want to do that. And then you want to finish off with your rinse or your conditioner. The more you do that, the better your hair is going to be, the less split ends you're going to have and the less haircuts you're going to need. Okay, I need a drink. Okay, so going back to the angel mask, it is such a great mask if you have fine hair. We know what it feels like when you have fine hair and you go to use a mask and it weighs your hair down and it makes your hair more greasy because it's full of oils and butters and all that crap that they like to put into masks. Masks to me feels like even the word feels so heavy. It took me a while to realize that actually no, the angel mask makes the hair fluffy. Like it's so incredible. I've never ever used anything like it. It's so good. So this one you also want to leave for up to two to 10 minutes to fully absorb the benefits and then you want to follow with the rinse. So when you're using a mask, you want to do two washes and then you want to use the mask, leave that on for 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, and then you want to finish off with a rinse. So it's shampoo, mask, 
and then conditioner. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to quickly summarize the blonde, the hydrate, the repair, the smoothing, the thickening, and the volumizing lines from Kevin Murphy. I will do another video on the Kevin Murphy styling product, so stay tuned for that one. And if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button and let me know what else you guys want to see. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.